Is this the most powerful single phase heater on the market? Hello, I'm Griffey, so welcome to Winning Griffith. Here we talk everything beekeeping farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now today is another heater video, and I want to talk about this heater. Uh, I've owned this now for over a year, and I haven't been paid at all to do this video. These guys don't even know why I exist, but I've been so <coughs> impressed with this heater last winter and in use this winter that I thought, you know what? This heater deserves uh, a review video on YouTube. I don't think no one else has done it. I think this is probably one of the best heaters you can buy and one of the most powerful single phase heater on the market. Let's get into it. So a little bit about this heater. This heater is actually made in Britain. It's UK built, uh, very, very high quality. It's actually industrial spec heater. It's not uh, a domestic spec heater, it's industrial. And that's why I bought it. I'm out here now in the wax room. I initially bought this to heat up the, the big workshop and the big shop. Unfortunately, the shop was too big for this really. Uh, when, you, when you think of the size of the shop, that needs some kind of massive diesel heater to heat that up. But nonetheless, this has been very, very handy uh, in different rooms and different buildings within the farm to bring the temperature right up. It's just unbelievable how good this is. Now, this is made by a company called Broughton. Broughton Heaters, they make air conditioning, dehumidifiers, heaters, that type of stuff. They've been in business for 30 years and they've worked with the MOD. They've even done some work for the Bugatti Owners Club and they do some work for big energy companies. So this is a top end company. Quality is very important. Now, before I buy anything, I like to do a little bit of research I don't like buying something and then that breaks and then you can't repair it. This is made in the UK. Every part is available and this heater is serviceable. So if anything goes wrong with this heater in the future, then it can be fixed. So you don't need to throw this away to buy another one. If this does break in the future, I can get this repaired and bring it back. I think that is the crucial thing when you, when you buy and kit this day and age. You want to buy stuff that you can repair. I hate the fact that we throw so much stuff away in our society. Something breaks, throw it away, buy a new one. We need to get away from that. So that's why I like buying kit that you can repair and fix. So let's get into how powerful this. So this one is a three kilowatt heater. I think that's the strongest and most powerful you can get on single phase. If you want to get a bigger version of this, then it is available, but then you need three phase electricity. I haven't got that on the farm. So this basically is the, the most powerful electric heater that I can buy uh, on single phase. Three kilowatt. Now to run this does cost a fair bit of money. So say the UK now we're averaging 30 something pence per kilowatt hour. This is three kilowatt hours. So you're talking 90 pence an hour to run this. But it will cost a bit less than that. This has got a built in thermostat. on the back here so as this comes into temperature the heater cuts off the fan keeps going so you're not actually using three kilowatts for every minute of that hour but you know it is no doubt an expensive heater to run compared to other heaters on the market but this thermostat you know you, it goes from zero to 40 degrees um, I keep that roughly about 35 when I put this on. I tend to use this in short bursts, so I'll put it on for maybe quarter of an hour, 20 minutes, and that brings uh, the, the building up to temperature, then I can turn that off. That's how I tend to use it. Um, and it's got you know, this super strong handle, you can swing it around. I've had this in the back of the pickup, I've had it in rooms in the house. It's easy to just to lug around and throw around. And just to go back to the, the thermostat here in the back, it's actually got a heat protection. So if this thing gets too hot, it cuts off. Now that is a, a very important thing in any kind of heater that it's got that safety feature, especially in big, powerful heaters like this. And the heat output of this is 10,000 BTU. Now, another thing you can do, which I haven't got use for it, but if you were on a building site and a heat rooms, etc., you can put duct in on this. So you can put a, 
a duct in on that. I think two meters long is what they rec recommended. They could probably put on uh, a longer piece than that, I would have thought. And then you can duct heat into different rooms off that. That's why you've got this um, circular piece sticking outside the heater. So what I like about this more than anything is how simple uh, of a construction and how simply built it is. Right in here, we can see you've got the heater coil. That generates the heat. And then on the back, we've got a fan, so that turns, pushes the warm air out, and then you've got the thermostat, and that there is, is part of the thermostat, and that as heat builds up, that thermostat kicks in and off, and basically, that's it. You've got three main components in this, as far as I can see, I'm not an engineer. We've got the heating element, we've got the fan, and we've got the thermostat in this solid steel casing. Now what's not to like about that? Not much stuff to go wrong on this. Now I suppose the only thing that's left to do now is to put this on for you to hear this run, see if you, you can hear how quiet it is and again I'll tell you a story of how this uh, saved our night one day and that's why I decided to do the review video of this heater. Well, that's it. I'm sure you'd agree that heater is pretty quiet. You could easily work with that on. Now, to share a quick story. I recently came back from France and I'd been away for four nights and the heating in the house had been off for four nights. Now, we live in a stone house, old farmhouse, and it's really cold if the heating's off. Now, we lit all the fires, but upstairs was still freezing and the kids had to go to bed. So, what I did, I put this heater in the kids' bedroom for 20 minutes each, and that raised the temperature of the kids' room to well over 25 degrees in about 20 minutes. Turned that off, and by the time uh, they went to sleep, the, the central heat and everything kicked in, and that brought the house up to temperature. Now, if it weren't for this heater that night, the kids would have struggled to go to sleep because the house was that cold. You know, you, I, ca I can't explain the, the difference between heating an old stone farmhouse compared to a, a new build that's fully insulated. You know, my house hasn't got that insulation, um, so it takes a long time to build that heat. But this heater massively uh, saved us that night, really brought upstairs up into temperature. And, um, you know, that's the, the kind of use this heater's got. You know, sometimes I'll use this in the honey warm room. I've got two heaters in there. But in, in, the, in that minus 10 degrees, um, you know, I wanted something just to, to bring that heat up really, really quick, and this heater does the job fantastically for that. Well, that's it for this video. I'm sure you'd agree this is a nice piece of kit, a very well-made heater and built in the UK. What's not to like about that? Well, hopefully you found this video useful, and if you're ever in need of a powerful single phase heater, then I can highly recommend this one is a good one. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.